What is going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of Bring the Juice. Guys, just wanted to bring you a quick little video here. I wasn't going to make a video about this because originally there was only one person that actually got a Pro Bowl roster spot when the initial uh, Pro Bowl rosters were declared. And that uh, was Quentin Nelson. And I wasn't originally going to make a video about it because that was the only one. But we might as well go ahead and talk about it because now a few guys are replacing the uh, some of the players that are still going into the Super Bowl right now. And some Colts players are going to be actually making their way to the Pro Bowl. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, first of all, I just want to say, how in the world this last guy on this list made the Pro Bowl, but yet somehow, some way, Zaire Franklin did not, is an absolute travesty. It is an absolute travesty, and it is, without question, the dumbest thing ever. Pro Bowl voting is broken. It, it honestly just shouldn't even be a thing anymore. It shouldn't be because you're putting people in these conversations and you're not even putting the best players in the entire NFL on the, on the roster. You're not doing it anymore. So it's just not even worth it at this point. Um, and it's not even like, Oh, what about the guys that are doing replacements for the guys that don't want to go because they're going to the Super Bowl? Those are fine because you got guys that are going to the Super Bowl that are playing it, that would be playing in the Pro Bowl, but if they don't want to, then you have replacements there. But they're not even getting it right to start. The guys who actually put together the roster um, before we even find out who's making the Super Bowl. That's what's ridiculous about it. Um, but let's start with this. Quentin Nelson uh, was named the only player in the All-Star event for the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, this will be his sixth consecutive Pro Bowl. So Quentin Nelson has definitely been a name that you know of for sure. Um, but following some of the stuff that's been going on, a couple of different players have actually been added to the Pro Bowl roster. DeForest Buckner and Ryan Kelly were each named to the AFC Pro Bowl roster. Um Buckner and Kelly will be replacing Chris Jones and Creed Humphrey of the Kansas City Chiefs. So those two definitely will be there. Um, it's still crazy that DeForest Buckner didn't make it in the first place. But nevertheless, DeForest Buckner, one of the best defensive linemen in the NFL, and Ryan Kelly, who had a phenomenal year and was one of the best centers in all of football last year, makes it in. And then we have the final one, which is saying that Gardner Minshew is actually getting a replacement vote and will be replacing Patrick Mahomes in the Pro Bowl. So he is now being named a Pro Bowl uh, roster spot for that as well. And that that's that's hilarious. That is just straight up hilarious. I don't know how in the world. Gardner Minshew got put in there. Um, I, I don't even want to. I don't even want to fathom how he made it. But I mean, in in any way, shape, or form, how Gardner Minshew could have possibly made an, a Pro Bowl roster spot, unless just every other quarterback in the NFL this year just decided that they don't want to uh, play in the Pro Bowl this year, and that Gardner Minshew was just left there by default. Uh, that's one thing I, I find that extremely hilarious, but at the end of the day, Colts have four guys going to the pro bowl now, and that is Quentin Nelson, DeForest Buckner, Ryan Kelly, and Gardner Minshew somehow is making it, but that's going to do it for this one, guys. Like I said, it's a quick recap of this, not much more to really get into with it, but let me know your guys' reactions to this. Uh, really would love to hear your guys' thoughts. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, go Colts.